And it's Ken Kratzer for Canvas Media. We're at West Point, uh, Army football practice. Black Knights are going to play Coastal Carolina on Senior Day. And we have one of the Army seniors from the defense, Chris Frey. Chris, how are you today? Doing great. Well, good to see you. Glad we have a chance to spend a couple of minutes. Uh, uh, senior Day uh, coming up. you got a big football game, but uh, you're going to have a couple of minutes for all the seniors, uh, almost 40 seniors on this team. Uh, we'll be out there with your... Uh, with your uh, families and uh, uh, something you've watched the your part, you know the upperclassmen do on a senior day, perhaps. What is it going to mean for you? Um, the senior day is a little bit more meaningful. My parents haven't uh, been able to make any games while I've been here at the academy, so this is their first game. Uh -huh. I'm glad that it's going to be uh, senior day, so I'm pretty excited to be playing in front of them. I know that they always watch me on TV at home, but I'm glad that they'll be in the stands for this one. Oh, I can only imagine. Now, where's home uh, for you and your parents? I'm originally from Canyon Lake, California, but they now reside in Hot Springs Village, Arkansas. Okay, okay. How has the year been? Um, it's been challenging. Uh, you had the five five game uh, streak where you, you you couldn't get off a win, uh, but you're you're playing well. What's the year been like for you? It's certainly been better with the uh, the win over Air Force and then uh, the win over Holy Cross here last week. Uh, yeah, those five weeks were definitely challenging in terms of us not performing how we should have been performing. Um, but those were great teams. I mean, you look at the last year, how they performed. Our five teams are always going to be much bigger and stronger, and they, their scheme is great. Um, but in terms of uh, the resiliency that I saw within the locker room, it wasn't that – it wasn't like pointing the finger, you're doing bad, you're doing bad. It was just the consistency of um, – coming back together and like we got to just do better we just got to do better um and that just came i saw personally from the, the senior class and even some of the uh, the juniors as well and it, and it must have been uh, a lot of satisfaction going out to denver and playing well getting off to an early lead keeping the lead in the second half uh, on a big stage fifty-two thousand people at that game what how did it feel to win that game at air force uh it was great um air force is a well-coached football team um, they proved that um, through the, the entire season that they're a predominant service academy. Um, and me, with the rest of my team, respect them. Um, they're a great team. Uh, uh, what it meant, though, to me, I mean, those games are always highlighted on our season, the uh, Air Force and, and the Navy game. And it's excellent. It's an awesome feeling to uh, pull off a win. Very good. Now, you got uh, just, uh, I believe it's just after Thanksgiving, you've got branch night. Uh, where uh, you'll get an envelope and you'll stand with all your classmates uh, and be asked to uh, open up the envelope. Is there a branch of the Army that you're uh, hoping or expecting to see in your envelope? I'm hoping to see Corps of Engineers. Very good. Why, why, uh, why Corps of Engineers? Uh, General Quander, he was our old commandant. Um, he branched engineers out of here, went to Ranger School, and he's the type of officer and person that I look up to and that I strive to be like. So that's why. Absolutely, and uh, tell us about uh, your academics here at West Point. What's been uh, kind of your major? Uh, uh, I'm study? a systems decision, decision science major, um, with, which is in the systems engineering department, and um, it, um, we study systems engineering. And uh, I also do some classes in uh, behavioral science, um, as well as um, social science within the social department. So, okay, and uh, how do you view? Uh, you know, it's uh, four years here, uh, a lot of preparation. How do you view your future in the U.S. Army? Um, I'm excited. I think that West Point had the development here is uh, pristine. I think that everyone that can make it through the 47-month experience will be a better person for it and will be a better leader for it. Absolutely. Uh, West Point trained some outstanding uh, leadership uh, for United States over over many years, and uh, just uh, how about highlights in your football career? Certainly, uh, the Commander in Chief Trophy wins at Mikey Stadium in 2020, and uh, defeating Navy uh, to close out last year, uh, the bowl win against Missouri. You've had some some big days. Yeah, uh, definitely that that 2020 season was a uh, was a highlight. I think. Those guys that I played D-line with, Nick Stokes, Am Amadeo West, um, Noel Cockrell, Ryan Durant, Quibina Bonsu, like 
those are my brothers for life and like I still text them to this day and all, most of them are um, out in the army now and, and doing their thing um, but yeah that, that, that season was definitely a roller coaster and to finish off the CICs or win off win the CIC um, with back to back games between Navy and then Air Force that was a that was a great experience especially as a younger guy in the program very good. So, what's it going to be like uh, uh, next Memorial Day weekend when you uh, when you're ready for graduation and you walk over to, to Mikey Stadium and and uh, and you walk up to the podium and get your diploma? Yeah, it'll definitely be a surreal moment. Um, all the hard hard work that I put into uh, these last few years, and then played a lot of football games out there in Mikey Stadium. And it's going to be a great great experience. Absolutely, Chris Frey. Senior Army uh, defensive lineman, and uh, great to talk with you today. And congratulations on a great career here at West Point. And you're gonna, you got a couple of games left to excel in, and uh, but it's been great to watch you play. Thank you. Our pleasure. This is Ken Kratzer for Canvas Media.